In this video, I will share with you a highly profitable trading strategy that will potentially make you a living. This strategy has a high win rate and is suitable for Forex, stocks, crypto and any other market with high liquidity. I will also backtest it 100 times and set my initial account size at $1,000 with 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio so you can see for yourself how well this strategy does in different market conditions. So make sure you stay focused and pay attention to everything I'm about to show you in this video. Okay, for this strategy, we're going to use pound yen 15 minute chart. And now let's go ahead and add our indicators. So for the first indicator, we will search for RSI, relative strength index. For the second indicator, we will use QQE mod. And now we need to select this community script and type in volume. And we will pick this volume flow indicator by lazy bear. Okay, so in order for this strategy to be complete, we need to adjust these indicators first. So let's double click on this RSI indicator and change the inputs. So we will change this RSI length from 14 to 40 and this MA length from 14 to 150. In a star section, we're going to remove everything except for this RSI and RSI based MA. Now let's double click on this QQE mod indicator and get rid of this zero level. And lastly, let's change the settings on this volume flow indicator. We will change the signal length from five to 20 and the maximum volume cutoff from 2.5 to 0.5. Let's also make these lines a bit more visible. Okay, now our strategy is ready. Let's get into our trading rules. Okay, so we're only gonna be looking to sell if the RSI purple line is below this yellow moving average. This is a confirmation that we are in a bearish market. Next thing we will need to have is a new red histogram appeared on this QQE mod indicator. And lastly, this orange line of this volume indicator has to be above the green line and they both have to be below this zero level. We see here we've got all our conditions met and this is going to be our trigger candlestick. So we will go ahead and place a sell order. We will set our stop loss at the recent swing high and we will be targeting 1.5 times the risk. Okay, we see this trade turned out to be successful. Exactly opposite is true for long trades. So we are only going to be looking to buy if the RSI purple line is above this yellow moving average. This is an indicator that we are officially in an uptrend. Next thing we will need to have is a new blue histogram appeared on this QQE mod indicator. And lastly, our volume indicator has to be bullish. So this green line has to be above this orange line and they both have to be above this zero level. So we see this is a valid long signal and this is going to be our trigger candle stick so we will go ahead and place a buy order at the close of this candlestick we will set our stop loss at the recent swing low and we will be targeting 1.5 times the risk okay let me now give you a couple more examples and you'll have a 100 understanding of how to trade with this strategy so we see we just got a valid short signal the rsi is below the ma the QQE mod just issued a new short signal and the volume is bearish as well. We see the orange line is above the green line and they both are below the zero line. So let's go ahead and place a sell order. Set a stop loss and a take profit target. Okay, we see our first trade turned out to be profitable. This long signal is not confirmed because the volume is below the zero line, so we will ignore this signal. This short signal is good, we see all our indicators agree. So let's go ahead and take another short position. We see our second trade turned out to be successful as well. By the way, we just had a new valid short signal on the candlestick where we had our take profit target hit. So let's take another short position.
We see we nearly got a stop loss hit. That's why I recommend to not set your stop loss exactly at the recent swing high or recent swing low. We've got to leave a bit more room because the level of manipulation in Forex market is really high. So here we've got another valid short signal. We see this trade turned out to be a losing trade, even though we were really close to hitting that take profit target. This long signal is not confirmed by our volume indicator. We see both lines are sitting below the zero line. This short signal is not confirmed by the RSI indicator. Just take a look at how well our strategy is eliminating losses when the market is moving sideways. This long signal is not confirmed yet because we see the orange line is still being below the zero line. Okay, this is where we have a valid long signal. We see all our indicators agree. And the price hits our take profit target really quickly. This long signal is valid as well. Okay, so we see unfortunately we got stopped out, but don't worry, losses happen. This short signal is finally confirmed. This is where we had another valid short entry. Okay, so we see we had six wins against two losses, which is really good. So let's actually backtest this strategy 100 times and see how well it performs. Okay, just like I promised at the beginning of this video, this strategy is making money. The win rate is 69% and we increased our account size by 310.94%. That's why I highly suggest you to go ahead and sign up for the Binance through my link because you will get up to 20% off on commissions. The equity curve looks really promising. We did not have any serious drawdowns. The profit factor for the strategy is 3.34 and we had seven consecutive wins against three consecutive losses, which is absolutely amazing. And in terms of win rate, this strategy is in my top five. Overall, I'd say it's really good. So go ahead and backtest it and forward test it on different markets and different timeframes as well. You can also tweak the settings on those indicators to make the strategy even better. Okay, traders, I hope you enjoyed this amazing strategy I shared with you today. And if you did, then smash the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. Okay, I'm off. See you in the next video.